Be sure to check out Watch Mojo's We'll Do It Live this Friday at 12.30 p.m. and click the link below to see all the episodes. Though Tom Hardy, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Princes William and Harry all show up in The Last Jedi, they're not the only celebrities to have made the trip to a galaxy far, far away. Oh, Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity cameos in Star Wars. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, our focus is on movies in the three trilogies, excluding the two unreleased films. Standalone films like The Clone Wars and Rogue One may be considered for another list at another time. That's mine! Number 10, Jessica Hennick, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Sit. Yeah, I'm on it. An up and coming actress with a knack for playing strong female characters, you might remember her from HBO's Game of Thrones as Nymeria Sand, and Colleen Wing in Marvel's Iron Fist. But a role you may have a harder time recalling is her turn as X Wing pilot Jessica Pava in The Force Awakens. Hello's been hit! As a fierce supporter of Oscar Isaac's Poe Dameron, her screen time may be limited to a couple of barely recognizable shots in a cockpit sporting a big helmet. But as a pilot for the Resistance, we love her all the same. Watch out! Number 9, Iko Weiss, Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. Kadiyama. Kadiyama. Discovered in 2007, this actor, stuntman, and skilled fight choreographer is Indonesia's own Bruce Lee. Mostly known for his lead roles in Indonesian action films like 2011's The Raid Redemption and 2016's Headshot, fans of the martial arts star were pumped to hear about his appearance in the Star Wars franchise. With a penchant for playing butt kickers, fans expected him to deliver some interstellar combat sequences. Sadly, it wasn't to be. Playing gang member Razu Quinn Fee, he only has one line in an alien language with Harrison Ford's Han Solo before making a rather sudden departure from the film. <laughs> Number 8, Judah Friedlander, Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. It's hard to forget this actor and stand up comedian's hilarious role as writer Frank Rossitano on the sitcom 30 Rock. Though he's probably more respected for his award-nominated portrayal of real-life Toby Radloff in the 2003 film American Splendor. You know, you should try believing in something bigger than yourself. What's hard to imagine, though, is how he ever got into Maz Kanata's cantina as a bar patron in The Force Awakens. The scene is so brief, it's barely noticeable. Here's hoping we get to see more of him in future films, at the bar or otherwise. Now, whatever you do, don't stare. At what? Any of it. Number 7, Sofia Coppola, Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Okay, okay. So maybe Coppola wasn't the greatest as an actress in The Godfather Part 3. Dad? Maybe not so coincidentally, she also starred in a small role as one of Queen Padme Amidala's five handmaidens in what is generally viewed as the worst film in all three trilogies thus far. Though a minor part, it was bad enough to get her nominated for a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Supporting Actress. Thankfully, things began to look up for Coppola that same year, with her well-received feature-length directorial debut, The Virgin Suicides. Number 6, Warwick Davis, Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, and Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Jota. He may not be the best known actor on this list, but considering his participation in three of seven Star Wars films, he deserves a spot. Known for his lead roles in films like Willow and the Leprechaun film series, he's more recognizable to younger audiences as Professor Phileas Flitwick and Griphook in the Harry Potter franchise. But it's his first acting role as Wicket, an Ewok supporter of the Rebel Alliance, that gained him his fame. With other roles in The Phantom Menace, The Force Awakens, and now in The Last Jedi, he's been a noticeable part of the Star Wars journey. Number 5. Thomas Brody Sangster, Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. We have an unsanctioned departure from Bay 2. Even diehard Star Wars fans may have trouble recollecting the character of Officer Thanison, the First Order crew member who noticed Poe and Finn's unsanctioned departure before getting promptly annihilated. The actor portraying him, however, is a little more memorable, primarily for his roles in films like Love Actually and The Maze Runner. He's currently known for playing Jojen Reed in Game of Thrones, one of Howlin' Reed's children, where the British actor has thankfully had more lines and screen time than his ill-fated 2015 Star Wars cameo. 
I saw your body burn. I saw the snow fall and bury your bones. Number four, Billy Lord, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. I really don't, I don't get it. It's loud. There's like a bunch of guns, people running. <laughs> uh, not, not a fan. She may be Resistance Lieutenant Connix in the film, but in real life. She's the daughter of the late, great Carrie Fisher. General, are you seeing this? In a blink and you'll miss it role, as a computer-tapping junior controller during a battle with the First Order, Lord's portrayal has added weight considering her mother's legacy in the Star Wars universe. Apart from her performance in The Force Awakens, she's most famously known as Chanel No. 3 in the comedy horror series Scream Queens, in which she dons a pair of earmuffs in homage to her mom's renowned character. How do you feel about what just happened? If you're a Star Wars fan, be sure to subscribe and check out our We'll Do It Live Star Wars special, live on our YouTube channel, Friday, December 15th at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. We've got polls, trivia games, and special guest Greg Grunberg to talk about playing Snap Wexley from Star Wars. And if you missed the live show, be sure to check it out at the link in the description below. We'll do it live! Number 3, George Lucas, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Yep, believe it or not, the creator of the Star Wars franchise himself pulled in Alfred Hitchcock and did a cameo in his own film, a blue-faced alien enjoying a show at the Coruscant Opera House. Revenge of the Sith ended up being a family affair, with his son Jet portraying Zet Jukasa, a young Jedi-to-be, his daughter Amanda in a role as Ter Tenille, and his other daughter Katie in the most visible cameo, as a Pantora named Chi Ikwe. The Big Shot director and producer has made cameos in other big films too, from Hook to Beverly Hills Cop 3. Come on, let's go. Number 2, Simon Pegg, Star Wars Episode 7: The Force Awakens. My whole life has led to this moment. I'm in heaven. You've loved him in the Star Trek series, the Mission Impossible series, and the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy. You've also hated him in the latest Star Wars movie. You just don't know it. Here's a hint. He enjoyed temporary ownership of the Millennium Falcon. Here's another hint. In a deleted scene, Chewbacca rips off his arm in the cantina. Still confused? Peg played none other than Uncar Plutt, the antagonistic junkyard dealer on Jakku. Follow the girl and get that droid. Hiding underneath a combination of computer graphics, padding, and latex, Peg is so good at his role that we would give him 60 portions. 60 portions? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. They've somehow created a hyper light speed weapon built within the planet itself. That sounds very scary. <laughs> you must be so brave. Number one, Daniel Craig. Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. I'll tighten those restraints. Scavenger scum. Yes, believe it or not, James Bond went from good guy to bad guy with his role in the 2015 Star Wars flick. And if you listen closely, you can tell it's you. How did this happen? I slept with J.J. Abrams. Having joked that he'd slept with J.J. Abrams for the role of a stormtrooper, the reality is that Pinewood Studios, where The Force Awakens was filmed, is also the shooting location for the Bond films. Moreover, the part he played wasn't just any old stormtrooper, it was the one who gets mind-tricked by the increasingly skilled Rey, persuading him to remove her restraints and leave the door open for her timely escape. I will remove these restraints and leave the cell with the door open. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.